guys, we've got a video here and this is about day trading on cryptocurrencies. I know I have videos on foreign exchange, commodities and indices and so forth. This one's about the crypto space. Now the first thing we need to do is identify what sort of brokers we can actually get involved with and actually deposit and actually trade with. Now we've got a few that we can name of course, we can go on forever but one that I'll recommend of course is Coinbase Pro, we've got Kraken as well but the most renowned one is of course Binance and I'm going to be starting on Binance today and before we start this video I really want you guys to like comment and subscribe show some support to the channel to see more consistent videos i do recommend you guys literally drop in a comment saying exactly what you want my next videos to be and we'll take it from there okay guys so once you do sign up and you're ready which is basically over here register you'll log in and you're into binance but i'm sure most of you guys literally have a binance account um from the previous crypto hype but um yeah so once you start there you'll go over to the markets you'll give that a nice little click and when trading with crypto especially with day trading we have to stick to ideally the fiat market cool now, of course, as you can see here, all of these cryptos are against the BNB, okay? The Binance coin. So you've got the BTC market, you've got the alt market, and now you've got the fiat. So we stick to fiat, okay? Now, things to consider when trading day trading is, of course, choosing the crypto that has a high volume and the ones that are more stable. Reason being is because when you are trading day trading, it's a bit more reliable than going for the smaller shit coins, as they say, or the meme coins. Because one tweet from Elon Musk can literally affect the market massively. And it can either go according to plan or it can go totally left. So these are things that you need to consider. Okay. Now, whenever you're predicting um, and doing technical analysis, the ones with the most volume actually is the best ones to go for. Um, so the ones that I would recommend are probably the ones right at the top. You've got Ethereum, BTC, you've got, um, I do reckon Cardano is good, XRP, you can literally do. But let's go over to BTC and keep it standard. So you'll give it a double click and then it takes you to the markets section. As you can see here, we've, uh, we always stick to clicking the trading view setup. I like to go for it. I mean, when you do start up with the Binance, it will probably be on <laughs> original. But um, I like it on TradingView as it's simple. And if you ever wanted to know how to actually use TradingView, I've got a video on that, which is my last video. So it's just nice to check out that video, know how to use the tools, know how to analyze the charts, and then go on to this video. But to start off, You've got all the tools on the left, okay? You've got the time frames listed at the top here, which is really good, and of course, the settings button, okay? So this is all where the technical indicators are. So if you give that a click now, and let's say I wanted to go for Ichimoku, there we go, Ichimoku Cloud. It literally created it for me. This is the one with the green cloud. Now, as you can see, above the cloud is showing a bullish movement, anything underneath, is showing signs of a bearish movement okay so whenever there is a bullish market we need to consider looking at buying opportunities so waiting for pullbacks in the btc price to start looking at buying potentials remember when we are going for cryptos it's very important to look at fundamental analysis always understanding what news is there to literally trigger the market if you don't keep up with the news it could really affect the technicals it can blow you out of the market so as you can see here has been having a bullish run it respected the support line at 27458 and from that point onwards it rose now if you wanted to add more technical you click here okay technical indicators it has a bunch of them literally pretty much all the ones that you see on trading view okay now if i go back i like to keep it to price action i mean like 
with depending on what it is that you're trading let's say stocks we, we stick to price action whatever if you're trading with foreign exchange um ichimoku is really good as well okay so as you can see here on the left we've got this trend line it's always nice to draw them out and um, you can change the the thickness of the line and you can change the color as well okay so let's stick to the, the color that they gave me to be honest okay so i'm going to give that a click you literally drag click drag there we go but the whole purpose of this is literally so you can draw the lines on your binance platform using the trading view setup to literally analyze when to buy and when to sell on the markets now i do recommend always looking at the news um good a good news platform could be bloomberg bloomberg are really good it breaks down everything it has its crypto section it has its stocks foreign exchange and so forth okay now if you wanted to paint and draw you've got this button here if you want to go for a text you've got that button here and you've got all what you need on the Binance platform which is really good because sometimes going off um, two different websites might be a bit more uh, confusing for you guys or inconvenient shall we say on the right hand side we've got all the updated prices for all the currencies so so on the cryptocurrencies against btc is listed here okay so if we scroll down and let's say i wanted to get involved in the price so the reason why we go for uh usdt is because it's a stable coin which means that it is a cryptocurrency that derives itself from a fiat currency which is us dollar okay so that's why we like to when we're doing um, day trading is to stick to a fiat currency which um the btc or the ethereum will be against now of course as you go down and you're looking to buy or or sell or whatever you're trying to do you need to log in okay now i'm just showing you guys once you do log in there'll be a button here to click buy or sell you enter the amount of btc and the price that it would currently be at and then you go buy and your execution will be done accordingly so guys if you need help with analyzing the charts and whatnot, we do have our Telegram group, which is so important that you can check out. It is free and it's there for support. If you want to get involved a bit more, I want to actually learn and want to actually invest in your knowledge, which is so important in this day and age. We've got courses there, which you guys can check out in the description box. As for everything else, if you want to see more videos, like I said before, like, comment and subscribe, show some support and we'll be here with more videos. As for now, I'm out.